Hello there. Today we're at Elephant Rock State Park. Elephant Rock State Park is actually an old quarry for Missouri red granite from the 1800s, operated for 60 something years. There were three large quarries in this area and this rock was shipped from coast to coast pretty much in our country, San Francisco, Dallas. Quite a few large cities have buildings made from this stone. Also within the St. Louis area it was used for paving stone, curbs, and building construction such as the Anheuser-Busch Brewery and the Ease Bridge. So here we have chiseled in the rock a memorial to the veterans of World War I. I'm going to attempt to read it. It's uh, a little weathered. It's, it was chiseled in the rock in 1918. So, in honor, you know what? There's a sign farther down the trail that has what the, it's chiseled on here. Let's go read that. <laughs> in honor of our nation's brave that sleeps over the wave. They died that we may be free, no more war to be, 1918. So we're currently on the Braille Trail. I really like this. It's a one mile paved loop and it's ADA compliant. So you can have a wheelchair here and it also has a rope system set up for the blind with Braille signs as you go around the trail explaining what is in front of them. You can see the drill marks in a lot of these blocks of stone. They would be drilled, then a wedge would be put in, hammered down, break it away, and then they would make it into smaller sized blocks as close as they could get to whatever the construction requirements were, just to reduce the weight. I think this uh, weighs 170 pounds per cubic foot. That's some heavy stone. This rail trail is very helpful. In the boulder behind you there are two large holes located about four and a half feet above the ground. These holes are the result of core samples which were drilled into the rock to determine their mineral quality and economic value. The sample analysis showed that the best use of the granite was for building material which was quarried from the local area in the mid 1800s. Let's look at that. This is the boulder they were referencing. This do go deep. Uh, the Virginia creeper is turning, one of the first signs of fall. Even though we're in the 80s, we are getting down into the 60s some nights. So, fall is here. We have a little spur trail behind me to the ruins of an old engine house. If I remember right, three of the walls were still standing last time I was here. We'll go down there, take a look at that, come back to the Braille Trail. Rails are still here, going off into the woods. Huh. 
Here you can see the rails going off into the woods. They're mostly just laying on top of the ground at this point. Look, Kevin, I got some train stuff. Back to the Braille Trail. So this little spur leads to a scenic overlook of Arcadia Valley and the Tom Sock foothills. There was a tradition here that when someone became a master stonecutter, they would carve their name and usually the date into the rock. Here we have an example of where four people chiseled their names. E.W. Evans, F.E. Vigneault, R.J. Mason, and E.S. Mead. Here's another rock with several names carved into it. All of these rocks, the boulders and the bedrock, have names all of them, dozens of them everywhere. Several have dates too. In fact, there's one to my right with the date of 1833. So these large boulders, which are scattered everywhere on top of this slab of rock, or the pachyderms or elephants. Some of these go as high as 27 feet.
Run! I've got it. Get away! Back on the brow trail. This huge boulder over here just has a straight line of drill holes in it. It's really cool. Most of the boulders here have drill holes in them, sometimes around all the edges and through the middle. To my left is the wheelchair route. To my right is Fat Man Squeeze, living on the edge. Made it. <laughs> So across the water is a 30 foot rock wall and the depth of the water is 40 feet. This is one of three quarry ponds here in this area. The only one we could see by trail though. Here we have a large iron ring. This stuck up about 30 inches above the ground. There are several of these embedded in the area and they supported a crane boom which lifted the rock out of the bottom of the quarry. All right, here in this stone we have a line of drilled holes running down vertically and in one of those the iron peg is left behind in the stone. You would have these two parts that would leaf out with the wedge that would be driven down in the middle and as they run down about maybe eight inches apart down the face of the stone they would continuously drive them deeper and deeper until it cracked the stone in a straight edge. This one small boulder weighs 10 tons. That's as much as three mid-sized cars. Wow. Well, here we have another fork in the trail. To my left is the wheelchair route, and to my right is the maze. Now, I know I have a tendency to get lost in the woods, but this trail's paved. <laughs> I'm gonna chance it. Made it. My navigation skills must be improving. Of course, that was navigating with training wheels. <laughs> there are squirrels and chipmunks all over the place here.
Okay, so we're at the end of the Braille Trail, but we're going to head over to the picnic area. There's one more thing I'd like to show you while we're here. Okay, we're just behind the picnic area. I'm going to be quiet. There are a lot of picnickers there. When I got here, there was nobody here, but it's midday and the picnic area is completely crowded. This is a weekday and it's, out, it's off season, so I can't imagine the weekends here. What we're going to do is we're going to bushwhack out to a second quarry pond. It's behind the picnic area. Most people don't know it's here. It involves a lot of bouldering, which is a lot of fun. Let's go check it out. All right, so it's maybe been 13 or 14 years since I've been here. This was always the adventure getting here. You had to boulder a lot. <clears throat> now there's a mowed path from the parking area up to the quarry pond. <laughs> oh well, let's go check it out. <laughs> All right, I doubt this is going to come through on a wide angle lens, but the uh, slab of rock we're looking at directly ahead of us has some really deep uh, drill grooves in it. So I'm gonna put the telephoto on and take a close up of that, that's pretty cool. While I have the telephoto on, I might as well get a close up of these really pretty cedar berries. It's really pretty here. Well, we have a lot of road noise. This park is right off of State Highway 21 and it's kind of a busy highway. So that's pretty much it for Elephant Rocks. I was hoping to show you the way I used to get here. There were some huge boulders, just like what we had off the Braille Trail, a lot of that actually here. And it was fun to just kind of wander around on all of that. But it's just, you have to get into it smack in the middle of the picnic area. And there, there's just too many people. And you could tell they're all looking at me like, what's that guy doing here? Why is he walking around our food? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed our walk together today. Thanks for spending some time with me. And I hope to see you on future ones. Bye-bye.